Merry Meet YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer, and I am here. Uh, I am here to show you how to make a solid lotion bar. And this one is rosemary, dragon's blood, and quartz crystal is in there. You hear that? That's quartz. Tumbled quartz crystal all through there. It's a very simple recipe that anybody can do with just about everything that you can buy at your grocery store, even. Solid lotion bar. If you want to see how to get that, stay tuned and watch. Thanks, guys. Show y'all how to make solid lotion bars the ones that I sell on my shop and today is going to be the dragon's blood solid lotion bar and I'm going to give you the full recipe for it now I do recommend using a glass container when making these lotion bars okay. I do have a um, cup measure here that I got at Walmart for like four bucks and it has the ounces on there because this does have to be pretty precise on the measurements so we're going to start off three ounces of these wax and right now I have my jar on top of my scale. Okay, so that's three ounces of beeswax. And I got my beeswax and most of all my products from Brambleberry. So next I need is three ounces of almond oil, sweet almond oil. And I get mine in the big gallon size from this site here for like $27. So I'm going to measure out three ounces on this jar and I'm going to pour that right in with the beeswax. Next we're going to need three ounces of shea butter. I love the smell of shea butter. Now again I'm giving you the recipe for the dragon's blood um, lotion bar that I have. This is a base for whatever scent you want to put in it. If at this point you want to add Himalayan salt and do another scent with it, this is you know this is what you would you know you would go with it if when this is done you want to add a quartz in the middle of the mold and then pour this over it you know this is what you would do and then if this was an intention bar this would be the point where you would add your intent into it before you melt it down so now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for two minutes and then I'm gonna stir it up okay so this is the mold that we're gonna be using here and this is the heart-shaped mold I always have a smaller mold for the side because I like to send out free samples of products. So I usually just pick one of my smaller molds. And these I get for like in the a dollar in the dollar days at like Target and the Dollar Tree. And the silicone ones work a lot better for these bars. They just pop right out. I had to put it in for another minute. And as you can see, it's completely melted. There is no beeswax left in there to be melted. So this is the point where you would add your scent to it. And I'm using Dragon's Blood. And for this amount, I use three droppers full of this. And this is just a scented oil that's safe for the skin. And then I stir that up really good. Get it all in there. And this is hot enough that you have a few minutes to work with it. Okay, so now it's at the point where I add the actual dragon's blood. And I always keep some crumbled up in my soap room of actual dragon's blood. And then that's when I add that to it. And I guess it depends on your spoon size. For this size spoon, I like to add six. And this is the little bitty one. And if I feel like I need to add more, then I do. And this smells amazing. And this really gives it a color as well. And you can see the dragon's blood floating in there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, you can see it from here. Okay. In this batch, I'm actually going to add rosemary to this part because why it's while it's hot as it is right now, it will actually it will actually get the oils from the rosemary all through it. And if you want to, as you're pouring it, you can strain it so that way the rosemary leaves aren't in there. But I find it to be very pretty, so I'm leaving them in there. And while it's as hot as it is, it really will take all the oils and essence from the rosemary along with added protection to it. I just love the way rosemary and dragon's blood go together. Like I said, you can strain it from this point when you're pouring it out. Because with the, how hot it is, it would have already started to take out the oils and all that good stuff. Okay, so let me put this to the side. 
Now in here, I am going to add a little extra because, you know, I'm also making Christmas presents. <laughs> so I'm adding some quartz, tumbled quartz, to the bottom of some of these. said you can add whatever you want to this is the easiest recipe for a lotion bar that I have found so I'm going to pour that now it smells amazing give it a few store stirs put some more tint into it okay. and now I'm going to pour and I'm pouring slowly so it doesn't pop the quartz all around And those are tumbled quartz, so it won't hurt as you're applying the lotion bar to your skin. That's how beautiful it is. And then I'm going to add some to these little molds. Give it a little stir so the dragon's blood isn't all sitting on the bottom. And you want to definitely be careful because coming out of the microwave, it is hot. I think I made enough there. I'll just make a small one here. For myself because I use it constantly. And with the dragon's blood that's left, I will go over the yeah, and pour it in there. And there you have it. So I'm going to let this set. It'll take about 20 minutes to set and they'll pop right back out. And then I'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, it's literally still warm, but I wanted to show y'all how easy. I mean, this is the simplest of any recipe you're going to find. See that? Beautiful. And pop them all out. See how easy they are? Just popping out. There's another one. There's another one. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this one with the rosemary in it. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. And these will be sent out as samples. How pretty it is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And they're not soft. Like where they're going to fall apart or melt in your hands. These are still warm and they're still good. And look, here's a piece that I had on top and you just get that. This is how you use a solid lotion bar. It's just like a bar of soap, only it's lotion. Oh, it smells so good. So amazing. That's good. Let me get the hearts for you. So I'll show you how to do that. Now these are extremely warm because they're a lot thicker than those. But they will pop right out too. The silicone is a great investment. As you can see, look at this one. This is a little half one. Look at all the um, dragon's blood and rosemary in that. Beautiful. Let me get out a big one for you so you can see the quartz. And that just came right on out, didn't it? And this is still very, very soft because the middle is still real hot. But here's the quartz. Hear me tapping it. Right there. And you can see the dragon's blood all through it. And there's some rosemary there. Absolutely the easiest recipe you will ever find. And as you can see, it's all in threes. It was a three of shea butter. Three of almond oil. Okay? Three of beeswax. And you can definitely substitute the... Um, Zoom in. So you better look at them. And you can definitely um, substitute the shea butter for cocoa butter. I've done that. I've done it with avocado butter, mango butter. I've substituted the butters for many other things. You can switch out the almond oil with grapeseed oil, coconut oil. All you got to do is keep the measurements, and the beeswax is absolutely necessary in this recipe because it's what helps to keep the form. And again, let me grab this, since this one's going to be mine. This is how you use a lotion bar. You just rub it on your skin like a bar of soap. But it's lotion, and you don't wash it off. And shea butter, absolutely, wonderfully moisturizing. The quartz that's in here with the rosemary and dragon's blood makes this the perfect protection um, lotion bar. Absolutely amazing. So I just wanted to share that recipe with you guys. And um, you see... From the time I poured it, the time I pulled it out was about 15 minutes. And they're still warm, but they're solid. So, beautiful. Look at it. How 
beautiful is that? Look at it. Dragon's blood and quartz all through it. And I wouldn't do it with a rough quartz. I would definitely only use a tumble quartz. You can use rose or any kind of quartz. I mean, it comes down to it being your lotion bar. Switch it up with any scent you want to, any herb, any anything you want to put in it, put in it. It's yours. Make it your own. But the recipe is easy. Three beeswax, three of the liquid, and three of the butter. And you have the perfect um, lotion bar. Jade, you going to drink water while I'm making a video? I'm gonna drink water while I'm making a video, honey. <laughs> yes, but um, that's the recipe three, three, and three. If you have any questions, please let me know. We'll see you at the next one. As always, blessed be, guys. Bye.